to me a world without gender bias is one where when we think of astronauts, engineers, footballers, cricketers, women come to mind as often as men, where media and cultural productions feature women's perspectives as often as men's. And most importantly, as a society, we're more attuned to uh, recognizing similarities rather than differences in behavior of men and women, whether it is behavior at a social setting or emotional expression. Because I believe gender bias starts from when we are born. If I have to think about a world without gender bias, it would have to be one without the colors pink or blue, or indeed any other color that replaces that dichotomy. A world without gender bias is a world where women are not marginalised and are not regarded as inferior with respect to their intellectual abilities compared with men. Whether we are women or men, we can be different. And a world without gender bias is a world that harnesses those differences rather than use them for the purpose of discrimination. Mary Wollstonecraft's wild wish was to see sex confounded. A person's sex should make no difference to their education, occupations, dignity or personal choices. This is a world in which we do not discriminate genders of people for any purpose other than medical necessity. While I agree with Simone de Beauvoir that to be a woman is to have lived in a female body, it's still possible to imagine that the symbolism and expectations surrounding this type of lived existence could be eradicated. A world where gender bias does not exist looks like a peaceful, happy world. A world where diverse groups of women are included, involved and participating in every aspect of sharing power, where women unite and strengthen the world through education and learning. Because where gender bias does not exist, women influence change.